Gran Turismo Sport once again received another free content update. Five new cars were added, over which we will be looking soon. But more importantly, Rain was finally introduced to the game. So this video will mostly focus on driving in the wet, or rather of which quality the wet track conditions are and how different tires handle them. And as far as I am concerned, there are currently also quite a few misleading conclusions regarding the rain on the internet due to a rather strange way how GT Sport handles the grip levels. But more on that later, as we are now going to take a glance at the new cars. First of all, the Honda S2000 was added and it places in the N200 class. The second car is the Mitsubishi GTO, which classifies as a N300. Next, we have the Nissan Celia as a N200. And moving on, there now is also the Subaru Impreza Coupe WRX, which is another N300 car. And the last car they introduced is the Toyota Corolla. It qualifies as a N100. Now that we are done with the new cars, we can finally move on to the more interesting stuff. The rain. Long story short, the Red Bull Ring in Austria received rainy conditions. And somehow Polyphony interprets rainy as a full-blown heavy wet track. And not just, yeah, there's some light rain and some puddles, so better be careful. Anyway, I was really hyped for this update and naturally went into the time trial mode to test the new conditions. But little did I know that this was close to being a fatal mistake. More on that later. So I selected the Red Bull Ring at dusk, put on some heavy wet tires and did a few laps. And before I say anything about how I personally feel about the rain and how it actually feels, just let me say that I can only tell you how the rain feels, or rather should feel, based on wet karting in the rain and also other simulator models. However, after my first short stint, I felt like something was off but nevertheless continued after pitting for intermediate tires. Fast forward a bit and after two laps I already was two seconds quicker than on full wet tires. On the track where standing water was legitimately everywhere. And just for fun, or so I thought back then, I pitted one last time for slick tires. And holy cow was I confused after this. The slicks were, and I kid you not, just short of 3 seconds faster than the intermediates and about 6 seconds faster than the heavy wets on a full wet track. So GT Sports rain model has to be flawed, right? Wrong. But this conclusion can be found very often on reviews for this update, but is plain wrong. And here's why. Apparently, GT Sport has an option which needs to be enabled to experience the full grip loss provided by the rain. Otherwise, this loss of grip is just a reduced version, a light version, a harmless demonstration so to say. And the thing that most people overlooked while testing the tires was that this setting is disabled by default in time trial mode. After finding out about this, I set up an easy race against the AI and enabled the full grip loss. And the differences were day and night in comparison to before. What about the slick tires now, you may ask? One word, undrivable. You are literally sliding over all four wheels in just about every single corner. There's zero grip. They are an unforgivable and a fatal mistake in the rain. So what about the intermediates then? Well, they are quite an advancement and obviously superior to the slicks. You get a lot more grip and traction, but are still sliding a bit through the corners if you carry too much momentum, which is exactly what to expect in such conditions. Nevertheless, they are not ideal for rainy conditions since they also struggle a bit under traction. And what about the heavy wets then? Well, the heavy wets are your tires of choice in the rain. You have by far the most grip and also the best traction with them. They are basically your savior for such conditions. So all in all, Polyphony managed to create a very realistic rain model which handles great, as long as you are not in time trial mode. In that case it's utter garbage. So is the rain in cheats spot any good? Yes, it most definitely is. And I'm very excited about an upcoming race in the rain in sport mode. In the end, 
I hope you enjoyed this short informational video and could take something with you. If this is the case, you could consider subscribing to this channel for more sim racing content. It would mean a lot to me and also help me out big times. And with that said, I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.